What's up guys? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I want to show you a few ways um, to set up sand and control the way that sand falls. Um, so this is, if you watched many of my other Vellum tutorials that are very um, basic so far, you will note that we're not going to do anything crazy that you haven't seen already. We're going to apply the same principles as before and get it to work with this head. So the first thing, we're going to make sure that, you know, whatever model you're using is a proper size. So I like to drop down this box and visualize that this box size is approximately like it's a meter by a meter. So that would be a realistic size for the head. I want to do that a little bigger so that like for some reason I feel like a few things like sand are easier to control uh, are larger scales you might tell me that I'm crazy but you know that's what I think I'm gonna do a clip here and I'm just gonna clip the bottom of the face like that and we are gonna do a poly cap so that we don't have that space underneath the neck that's gonna fill up this space down here and then we're gonna do vellum configure greens and you will want to do create points from volume and we're gonna reduce the particle size to 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 there we go so we got our base. Now we want to first color the particles. Um, we're going to make them black. And then we're going to use a sphere. And this sphere we're going to place, say for example, like right here. Now we're going to use a red color on the sphere. Then we want to do an attribute transfer so that we can transfer the red onto our thing. Sorry about that noise guys. We just want to transfer the CD and we're going to reduce the amount of transferring here to something like Something like that makes sense. So of course their resolution on my points isn't too high for now, just for the sake of testing this. And we are going to do a wrangle and do if at cd.r is less than 0.1 then we want the mass to be 1. And then we're going to do a vellum solver. And we're going to connect our first input there. connect our sources onto the second input and we don't need any collision geometry by default this is gonna give us the the gravity already and we want to have a ground plane already in here so let's set the ground plane right here so that it's enabled and let's hit play And that does not work. Let 
Let me just test. All right, guys, I'm back. So basically, I changed the mass to be equal to zero in case the CD.R is less than 0.1. So basically, that's saying, okay, if the red is less than 0.1, meaning if it's black, then um, or like closer to the black, then the mass is either active or inactive based on this um, this sign right here and this percentage, right? So basically what's gonna happen is that if we hit play, then we're only affecting the black particles. Um, and then what you can do as well here is like, of course, my samples are really low. So we come here and do like three five samples now you're gonna get a more accurate uh, simulation and last let me just delete this I was testing some things out you increase this to 0, 05 for example we're gonna get something much more detailed And then last, you want to dither the surface so that the points are a little bit less uniform. Let's come here and let's just make a color node in the end. And if we hit play, you will see that this is going to run much slower. So guys, um, here's the final result. I hope this technique is useful for many things for you guys to play with sand and uh, I'll be back with more.